Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. If you guys are interested in checking out what my Etsy shop looks like, or if you wanna see any of my merch designs, you guys can check out the first links in the description box below. But in today's video, we are going to be doing a full demonstration on how to blend fragrance oils. Now, I did make a video, I believe it was maybe a month or so back, about um, answering some of the common questions that I get in regards to mixing and blending fragrance oils. A lot of that had to do with um, how many fragrance oils can you blend together and is it okay to um, mix different suppliers' fragrance oils together. But something I didn't do in that video was actually show you guys a demonstration of how to actually go about it. I am a very visual person. I like to watch other people do things to learn rather than just reading it. So that's why I like to put out as many videos as possible answering these questions because I know that it can be helpful to a lot of you guys who are visual learners. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I went ahead and just wrote down some things so I wouldn't have to write that down during the video, just some stuff that we need to know beforehand. So we are going to be making the candle in one of these little eight ounce tins. So um, in order to do the calculations properly, we're not gonna be using eight ounces as the number for the formula. We need to find the fill weight or the net weight in order to do those calculations. So when you fill up wax up until this line, so as you guys can see, it's, it's really Really nice with, with uh, jars like this or containers like this because when you guys see that line right there that's as high as we are filling it up and the weight of wax when it fills up to that mark right there it weighs six ounces or 170 grams so that is the number that we are going to be using and if uh, you guys may or may not know I love to do everything in grams so that is what we are going to be doing today now in terms of the blend that we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing three different fragrance oils blended together with different percentages. So um, I like this because they're all from different suppliers. So we have tobacco and bay leaf, and this is from the Flaming Candle. We have Asian Sandalwood from California Candle Supply, and we have Library from Candle Science. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing 50% tobacco and bay leaf, 30% sandalwood, and 20% library. So this is how I would go about figuring out those calculations. So first things first is we need to figure out um, how much wax weight and how much fragrance oil we are going to be using um, to fill up this little tin right here. So I'm gonna be taking the net weight, which is 170 grams, and we're gonna divide that by 110 percent. So um, I want to do 10 percent fragrance oil. I should have actually listed this up here, um, but we're going to be doing 10 percent fragrance oil. So um, I'm going to be dividing it by 110 percent. So that gives us a total of 155 grams. Um, I rounded up. I believe it was a decimal point, but I rounded up um, to make it a little bit easier for the calculations. So this is going to be our wax weight. So that is the wax weight. And in order to find the fragrance oil weight, we are just going to take the net weight and we're going to subtract the wax weight. And that gives us the fragrance oil weight. And I apologize, uh, I know I'm left-handed, so it's a little hard to see when I'm, when I'm writing. Um, so we have, we have our fragrance oil weight right here. And in terms of finding these percentages of the blend, this is the only number that we need to be paying attention to. So as soon as you find your calculations and you figure out what your fragrance oil um, weight is, that is how you are able to do the blends of the different percentages. So from here, we are just going to take that 15 grams. And what we have to do from here is we have to do 15 grams times 50% and that gives us 7.5 grams and we are going to do the same thing over here so 15 grams times 30% and that gives us 4.5 grams and then the last one right up here is 20% and that gives us 3 grams perfect so now we're gonna have 7.5 grams of tobacco and bay leaf, 4.5 grams of sandalwood, and three grams of library. So if you add these up, so three plus 4.5 plus 7.5, 
you get a total of 15 grams. So that's pretty much what it is, is you're just wanting to make sure that you are getting the proper percentages where all of these numbers together equal 100% and these numbers in grams will equal the total fragrance weight. All right, so I went ahead and melted down that 155 grams of wax in this pitcher right here, and we are ready to measure out our fragrance oil. So I'm just gonna be taking my little gram scale and we are going to be measuring out everything. So I'm gonna do this one first, which is the tobacco and bay leaf. So this is 7.5 grams, and I'm hoping you guys will be able to read that number with me. So close. There we go, 7.5 to put that in there. Another question I always get from you guys is, do you have to mix all of these together in one before you pour it in? I don't, I measure them one by one and pour them in. Um, they're gonna be blended together in the, in the wax, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to tear that off, and we're gonna do the sandalwood next, and this is 4.5 grams. And I always have to be careful when it's such small amounts like this because I tend to over pour so we're gonna be doing our best to not do that. 4.5. So close. Okay, 4.5. Pour this in here. And then last one is library, which will be three grams. A lot of people didn't really like library, but I actually don't mind it. I like it a lot better than Fireside. There it is, three grams. And again, what I'm blending, you guys, I've seriously never blended this before. This was just kind of ones that I grabbed that kind of had more of like a musky masculine scent to them. Um, so I wanted to see, just kind of play around and see what they smell like. Okay, so now we're ready to pour, and I'm just gonna show you guys how all of these calculations Add it up, will take us right until that line. Somebody had told me one time that I didn't get all the last drops out of it, so I'm trying my best to, <laughs> trying my best to get everything. Wow. That actually smells really good. <laughs> um, I'm really interested to see how this combination turns out when I go to light it. Um, but that was really fun to be able to blend it. And blending fragrances is something that I am actually looking to do more of. I'm looking to actually do some more custom blends with waxes, custom blends with fragrance oils, and not just rely on the pre-blended fragrance oils, which I love those so much. Um, those are mainly what my line consists of, but I like the idea of kind of creating your own scents. So I'm really interested to see how this one turns out, but I really hope this video was helpful for you guys who have been looking to blend your own fragrance oils, but you just didn't know necessarily exactly how to do it um, in the right way. And again, these numbers that I talked about on here, um, these percentages, I just randomly came up with them. Um, as long as your percentages equal 100%, percent you guys can try it out I mean obviously you don't want to do 50 percent 50 percent 50 percent because uh, that's not necessarily gonna work um, you're gonna have too much fragrance oil you want to make sure that those add up to a hundred percent but yeah you can choose whatever fragrance oils you want to you could do four blends five blends just keep in mind that the less amount the easier it is um, when you're making the candle but you guys can kind of experiment to see which ones you guys like the best and again, my formula that I talked about on here, I have an entire video where I go over that formula. So you guys need to make sure that you know exactly how much wax and how much fragrance oil you need to make one candle in order to be able to do the uh, percentages properly. So that's definitely something you guys have to figure out first. And then from there, you're able to do more of the calculations that I talked about on here, where you are taking that fragrance oil weight and you're multiplying it by the different percentages to figure out how much weight of each scent you need. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.